Hello. Hi. It's Mel. I am an adult doll collector of 35 years. And uh, today I wanted to share with you all um, a variety of um, openings that I'm going to do. So, um, let's begin first with these two CPKs. Now, I went ahead and I cut the box open on these so that uh, that would save some time. Uh, thank you for stopping by my channel. Okay, these came from New Mexico, and I apologize. I can't say the name of the town they came from, so I'm not even going to attempt, <laughs> okay, because I'll mess it up. <laughs> don't have perfect speech, and I don't claim to have it. So, let's begin with this little girl. She is a play-along girl, Asian poodle hair. Oh my God. How beautiful. Here you go, you all. Look. This is her. She is a, let's turn her over. This, I've never seen one where the outfit, look here. Uh, it has the tag inside right here. It's a Cabbage Patch Kids outfit, okay? And uh, she's a little dirty, you know. And this is her outfit. Don't know if the shoes go with her or not. Uh, she has beautiful uh, brown eyes and black hair and a pretty smile. And on the back of her neck, <clears throat> hope you all can see, it says, <sighs> excuse me, play along, PA-2, 2000. 4OAA Incorporated. I hope you all could see that. And I'll show you. Let's go ahead where you can see that on these, the signature is going to be on this side right here. Usually they're on the other side on the Calicos. Right there's the signature. Then over here on this side, we have a hang tag <coughs> that says sorry it's hard when they've got on these little jumpers i can get it so you can see it right here and um, it's got a number and it says appalachian artworks 2004 right here okay so this is miss play along isn't she adorable you all i think she's so pretty Okay, so we're going to set this lovely right here, just for now. Uh, I don't really know where we're going to put her, but uh, let's set her right here, just for now. Next, I got um, one of these little uh, cuties. I enjoy cuties. This is a CPK Winter cutie, and she says 2007 right here excuse my nails and everything you all you all know i'm a country person i work outside a lot um and it's little thing right here says cpk on it and a little tuff of looks like dark blonde hair and pretty brown eyes and a little bow right here okay so we'll set this one here now my favorite <laughs> My favorite. I've always wanted this. However, I'm not going to pay for the one that's in the original box. It's too much money for me. I've never had one. And it's called Young Astronauts from 1986. Right here. Young astronauts. She has her gloves. She has her boots. Her whole suit. She is missing her visor right here. She's supposed to have a visor. She is a poodle hair with blue eyes and brown hair. Uh, head mold number five. I'm going to have to clean her up. Um, 
I don't know exactly how this comes off to where we can look at her, but we're going to do this, and we're going to try our best to get down in here and see what's going on. I think I'm on the wrong side. you got to remember, I've never had one of these before. I just think it's <laughs> the prettiest little old thing. Let's try this side, okay? Okay. I know they're done in 86. Um, you know, this isn't a fast channel. Signature is 1986. And it says, I see one made in Taiwan on her sticker. So let's try to pull this back up here before I destroy the outfit. It, it's hard for me to get... Now, she's missing, um, like I said, a couple of things. I'll have to fix her back. But isn't she adorable, you all? A young astronaut from Coleco. Um, if you all don't mind, I'll grab my little uh, Cabbage Patch Kids encyclopedia for the 1980s. This is my reference guide that I've always used. Okay, uh, for the young astronaut, I'm going to show you all. It says, Young Astronaut, 1986. Endorsed by John Glenn Jr., exact replicas of a cabbage patch kid astronaut that went on the space shuttle in 1985 called the young astronauts both boys and girls were beautifully designed uh package standing in a silver and blue space capsule box each kid wearing white two-piece nylon suits with boots gloves backpack and a helmet with working visor each also came with a small u.s flag colorful brochure trading card and a bro uh, brochure along with the young astronaut council collectors sought the girls because of their beautiful new popcorn style hair most were okay tags and lush long curls and rosy cheeks and that's what you know her packaging would have been but it did say that it did come in all different, you know, head molds that Coleco had. So, um, she could not be original to this outfit. You know how people over the years, they'll change their outfits and things like that. So, show who do you like the best out of these little sweet babies? She, by the way, I measured her. She's 18 inches tall, I think. That's what the thing said. Uh, the description. Let me get the measuring tape, and I'll tell you all right now. Okay. Okay. She is 18 inches. The play-along is. Now, we're not going to include her helmet. We're just going to get to her shoes. Well, she looks 18 also, but I could be wrong. Uh, it's a little hard <laughs> to see sometimes. So, um, we're going to, like I said, let's just set these right here. I don't like to put them on top of my other babies, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Oh, next, we are going to go with something that I got from Ellicott, E-L-L-I-C-O-T-T, -L -L -T, City, Maryland. This came to me. This is two vintage AA Raggedy Ann and Andy's. And you all know how much I love Raggedy Ann and Andy. So we're going to pull these out of the box. They are 12 inches, supposed to be. 12 inches tall. Remember, I'm not a professional doll channel. You all already know that, though. So, it just, it is what it is, you know. So, let's look here and let's measure 12 inches is how long these are. Now, I haven't opened them. 
And let's see um, what they look like when we touch them. I'm telling you something. I j oh, these are the sweetest. Oh, you all. Oh, these. I, I love them when they're made homemade. These were homemade. And they're little, you know. They're just a little bitty. They're about the size of a Barbie, a little taller. Let me move the camera so you all can get a better look at these lovelies. Look here at little Raggedy Andy. He's got his little blue and white hat on. And he has his little triangle nose. And they even stitched, I think, I love you inside on their heart. Here is Raggedy Ann as an AA, and she is also homemade. We're going to push this up here. Isn't this amazing? Someone even made these clothes. Look here. They put the I love you, which is so sweet. And I know that his is, but we would have to. You know, I, I'm, I, I, they're pretty old. I know they're vintage. Let's look, make sure his is to look, you all. How someone took the time to do these lovelies. I'll snap it back later. So, now, compared to the other vintage Raggedy Ann and Andy's, which are right up here. Okay, that's the applause. And here she is. You know, she's homemade, but it doesn't matter. I, I just couldn't let, I just couldn't resist them. There's Raggedy Andy. Let's compare, and here is the homemade Raggedy Andy. Oh, my goodness. That, it, that it is very, very, very sweet. <laughs> you know me about sweet stuff. <laughs> Okay, excuse me while I set the camera here back down. And uh, we're going to continue on, okay? Next, what I have is... Oh my goodness, this one's heavy. I just received it today, and I'm really excited about it. Okay, this was... Uh, this came from Mount Vernon, Illinois. Okay, it's supposed to be a lot of about 18 Barbies along with two 1978 boards that I wanted because I want them for display. So here we go. It's down just a little and I'll get each one of them out and bring it to the camera. This is a, let's look at the year. The back of her head says Mattel. 1985. Uh, she's got her original earrings. Um, I'm sure that she she's a Native American um, Barbie. So there's one. Okay. Next we have PJ. Everybody knows I love PJ. The original PJ. She still has her original sunglasses. See? That are attached. So let's put them back down. She's not in the right dress. Legs click. She twisted the waist. Straight arms. I forgot to show you about her. So twisted the waist. Clicks. Permanently bent arms. Next we have. Now some of these we know are not in the correct outfits. So I'll just show you her. She's blonde and she's from 76. Show you on the back here. It's her head mold anyway. She's very pretty. So there's two. Okay. Now I don't know who this is. She is, I believe she may be from uh, Josie and the Pussycats. If you all remember, they had like three dolls many years ago. Um, if I can read the year and if you can see it too. It says, it's so tiny, I just can't make it out. If anybody can see it, you can let me know. I don't know, I can't read it. Anyway, she's got on purple earrings. 
her arms being what I like look at her fingers they're real limber see how limber they are she flexes a little right here she, but she doesn't sit but her legs do hold her foot is bigger it's almost like I would say she would wear Cher's shoes I would probably never be able to find her shoes I have one of these but this one came in it sometimes you have to get duplicates uh, of things if you want certain dolls that's in there I already have one like her she is turns it the way straight arms and clicks okay next we have one that has her hair cut um, but I don't care she's one of them that doesn't turn it the way she has straight arms however she bends and she crosses her legs and I like that about her and her year is Mattel 1998 but I can't identify who she is due to the haircut next we have one here she has purple legs and dark hair and she doesn't turn it the way she has straight arms she does bend there and she doesn't like i said turn it the waist and she is a mattel 2005. if anyone happens to know who anybody is please tell me i would really really appreciate it this one is a newer one i believe but she does all this her legs bend she doesn't bend at the waist arms are permanent but she see but she can also cross her legs and i like that and her year and head mold is mattel and it says i think 1998 i hope you somebody i hope to goodness that i had that up against the camera right Next, we have one here that turns at the waist. She's got the what they call the flex waist. She, mm, slightly bent arms. Little, okay, her hair's been cut. And her year is Mattel 1998. Okay, not sure who she is. We'll count these here in a minute. Next, we have this one. Um, I like her earrings and her outfit. I don't know if it's original to the doll. And on the back of her neck, see, sometimes you'll find them and there's nothing. It says nothing. So, twist at the waist and her, she clicks. Next, we have, I don't know who she is, but I liked her pretty outfit. It's got this thing here. I don't know what that's for. Uh, Mattel. Incorporated. And it doesn't say a year either. There she is. Then we'll pan over them here in just a second, okay? But I thought I would share. I hadn't got to share any of my cabbage patch in a while. So, I thought we would just do this together. Here's another one. Um, she says Mattel Incorporated 1991. She has real straight, soft hair. Bends the waist. Slightly bent arms. And her legs do click. Alright. Next, I know this is a fashionista. This is Ken, and his year is Mattel, excuse me, well, he's got a lot of hair, 2019, so there's a Ken Fashionista, I do like him, all right, I'm going to show my favorite one for last, uh, here's another Ken, this is, says 2015 or 18. I can't make it out. The shoes just fell off. Let me bring it over to you all. It says 
I think this is 2016 or 2010. Okay. And his little shoes have, or sandals have come off. So let's put those on. Okay. Next we have this lovely girl here. And uh, she's straight, no waist turning, straight legs. She does click. And she is Mattel 1976. Very pretty. I like it when they have their earrings and things on. Okay. This one is Mattel 2018 is what it says on the neck. I think he's a very nice looking doll too. We're going to set him here. I remember this one. My daughter had it when she was little. And uh, I had to get this one. I remember her name. Angel Princess Barbie with these wings. Um, let's see. I, she never played with dolls, though. My daughter, she never liked dolls. Never did. Um... And that's strange that I was so crazy about them. But now, like I said before, I stopped collecting whenever, um, you know, when I say I'm a doll collector of 35 years, well, I am. But it was on and off because for many years, you know, I was raising her and everything. So, obviously, I wasn't collecting dolls when she was a child. But once she grew up and married and everything, it was different, so. Now, this is the last thing to show you all in this haul. These are boards that say Mattel 1978, Mattel 1978. And what they are, they're supposed to be like a stage, I would say somewhere that went with it, like in the middle. But the man made an offer to me of... Um, five dollars and then I bundled these and just got everything together. I like to do bundles <laughs> when I go online but uh, you know like um, let's see you know like if they're on a stage I just wanted these for backdrops and I think they're really cool. So I'm gonna lay these down here and let's uh, get the camera. <laughs> We're gonna count these dolls so here we go. We have one, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. So we have 17 with 15 of them, or excuse me, 14 being Barbie and three of them being Ken's. All right, now to show you this up close, I'll show you what the stage set looks like. See, it's very cool. People are in the audience watching and all that. So, here was the haul. We have our two little vintage AA homemade Raggedy Ann and Andy. One special little CPK cutie. And I didn't happen. I need to see who this was made by. This is made by, um, <laughs> sorry about that. Play along. So that's also play along. Then we have this play along. And look here. See how she's got something on her face. Now that's not mold. I feel like that, that's a, been a, a place for a price tag. So what I'm going to do, obviously, I'm going to get her out of this thing. See? <laughs> I want to rub it off so bad, but I can get her cleaned up. 
she's fine. I don't care. Okay, so there is those. That's all the haul. Um, you know, you all, I have really, oh my goodness, I have so much I wanted to show you all. Um, I don't know if I've got time, um, but if I do, I will go ahead. I wanted to unbox one Barbie for you all. What it is, is the box is all crushed. I mean, it's obliterated. So, let me um, show you the box. It is a 2005 Holiday Bob Mackie Barbie. Do you see how bad and crushed the box is? It's in really, really, really bad shape. On the back, <clears throat> it says 2005 Holiday Bob, Bob, Barbie Bob Mackie. The tradition continues. Okay. And um, it says, Enter a chance to win Holiday Makeover. And it says, uh, Holiday Barbie doll is becoming a favorite festive tradition, reflecting all the joy and beauty of the season. And this year's selection is even more special because for the first time ever, Bob Mackie works his very special magic on Holiday Barbie doll. The 2005 Holiday Barbie by Bob Mackie is completely resplendent. As shimmery and sparkly as a frosty winter morning, this doll features over-the-top glamour, perfect for the most lavish holiday gala. For years, Bob Mackey's designs have graced the most famous stars in the entertainment industry, as well as the most glamorous women throughout the world. In 1990, Mackey glamour reached the pinnacle of fantasy when he began designing for the Definitive Fashion Doll Barbie. 2005 marks Mr. Mackey's first ever holiday Barbie creation, sure to be treasured for years to come. Barbie Makeover by Holiday Sweepstakes. As part of this special holiday celebration, Barbie Doll invites you for a chance to for you to enter for a chance to win your very own life-size gown designed by Bob Mackey. Um, sponsored by the 2005 Holiday Barbie. Mattel toys valued at a thousand and something. An incredible party for 100 of your family and friends. Wow, I wonder who won, I wonder who won that contest. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, we know it's shredded, right? It's just destroyed. This box, and it is, it's a nightmare. We, we see this, right? <laughs> okay. What I think I'm going to do, you all. Look here, let's just cut up through here. Okay, let's go across, and let's see if we can get her out of here. Excuse the noise. I don't know if there'll be a stand with it. Any shoes? You talk about filthy. Now, this came from a flea market that I went to this past weekend. And uh, I just, uh, obviously, and hit being $5, you know I couldn't pass that up. So, let's try to cut up through here. There is no reason whatsoever to try to salvage this box. It looks awful. I want the doll anyway. I don't want none of the red stuff. All right, excuse the noise. Let's try to get her out of here. The background is pretty in the purple and stuff, isn't it? Right, very nice. Let's see here. I'm trying to do this without setting this down. But I think I'm going to have to, you all. I apologize. One more time. One more time. Let's see if we can get her out of here. Because I, I can't take it, her being in here. I've had her since Saturday. And the poor thing, my goodness, how she's been neglected. She's dusty, dirty. I just pray one thing. 
that her stand is here. I don't I don't think I'm gonna be able to get any shoes or or anything. Okay. All right. We'll look on the back, and you see right here. She should not be too hard to get out. So this is just an extra, just something extra. So I'm, I believe I'm going to title this video um, Variety, Variety Doll Haul. <laughs> this is a, just a variety. Everything from vintage AA, Raggedy Ann and Andy to the young astronaut and the sweet um, play along Asian girl. And uh, the Barbie haul and those boards. Wow. <laughs> I thought I, you know, I don't have a set schedule. You all know that. Whenever that I do videos. Because um, I don't want to be a liar. Okay. I don't want to say posting every week is a new video. Because I can't make that promise. Sometimes I might be able, I may have a video tomorrow. There might be one Friday. I love and I appreciate all my subscribers. By the way, anyone that's new that's subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to subscribe to my channel. You know, there's a million and one, <laughs> no exaggeration, I'm sure, a million and one you know, doll channels, and everyone does their own thing, and they do it different. So it surprised me that someone subscribes, you know, because I'm not professional or anything like that. And like I've told you all before, I do sometimes do little vlogs uh, just because I want to, and it's my channel. And, um, you know. I want to make it fun. I, will, I try to make it fun for everybody. Uh, thank goodness I do see one part of the stand. Unfortunately, you all, I don't see the other piece. You know what I'm talking about? The long piece that goes on the base. I see this piece. Oh, here it is. I can't do nothing, I swear. You ever have one of them days just sometimes you can't do anything? I mess up all the time. <laughs> but anyway, in all seriousness, thank you for stopping by. And thank you for anyone that might, that's subscribed and uh, everything. I, I really do appreciate it. And I want you all to know that. I think you all do. But, um... I get a video out just to, you know, I, I, I am a pretty busy person, and I, t I try to take time to smell the roses, so to speak. But sometimes, you know, life, <laughs> life can really be challenging at times, you know, and, and that's just how it is. Uh, we all know that. So, all right. Now, we know she's kind of a mess. I mean, she's a mess, this bed. With this stuff, she got it super dirty. But that's okay. Let me go ahead and fix the stand. I'm hoping you all can see her very well. And I hope I did get some shoes. All right. Now, wow. Her dress is flat as it can be. I want to show you up under here. There's the old tissue paper um here is the now the colors could have faded you know i i don't have no clue like i said this doll was at the flea market it was just like that other bob mackie you know remember the 45th anniversary one that i unboxed it was from the flea market that time Oh, man, and it was so dirty. I'll show her up close in just a second. I was just trying to straighten her out so you all could see. See the tool under here? And this looks like icicles. Um, I'm going to have to somehow flatten her down. Asymmetric line. One line's longer than the other. The back's what we all want to see. 
or I do, because you can't, most people wouldn't be unboxing this, so they never see the back. Icicles all the way down. Her hair is nothing but ringlets. Her jewelry is green. Green, uh, stimulated, you know, stones, of course, costume jewelry. Just like what I love. All costume all the time. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I love costume jewelry. Now, let's look at her shoes here. Thank goodness you all, her shoes were in here. I am so excited. Over this doll and this stand and everything. I, I really didn't think that it's. I didn't think there would even be anything with it. When I get them on, we're going to look at her up close. Here is the shoe. They are. See? It's white. I'm probably, to be honest, I'm probably going to take all this off of her and give her a bath and redo her hair. Because I'm having a hard time getting a shoe on. Why in the world would anybody get a Barbie doll? Okay? And then the shoe not fit. I don't I don't want to have to do anything to make it fit. It should just stay on there. They shouldn't ever come off, you all. Okay. There is them lovely shoes. Now let's put her. Her legs do come like this. Uh, she's got the pale skin. Let me set her on the stand, and then I'm going to get the camera for the very, 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 very last time to where you all can check her out. Okay. I don't know if she's missing anything. It's hard, you know, with a doll that's been tore all to pieces in a box like that, it's really hard to tell. So, okay, excuse this mess. I can't help it. I, I just didn't want you all to see all that old mess. Oh, boy. Okay, now, camera time. Here we go. Is she not stunning? She has fuchsia lips or lip liner. Then looks like a dark pink lipstick. She has pink eyeshadow. Her eyes look almost a shimmering light blue. Here is the necklace. I, on the camera, it doesn't look green, but it is. Not here, but on either side. There's green right here. Crown. There's the hair and the ringlets. Let's go on down. I'm trying not to talk so loud when I get up close to the camera. Because you all, I don't realize I'm talking loud. I don't mean to. I hope it's not annoying. I'm sorry and I apologize. Okay, here you go. Here's this part up here. And uh, like I said, I'm going to have to try to straighten all this out. We're going to have to excuse that and it being a $5 Bob Mackie first holiday Mattel Barbie. That's amazing. Here's this part. It looks like a, see, that looks like part of a um, ribbon, you know, for packaging your Christmas presents. It's dirty. Can't help it there. Right down here's the stand. And let's look at her lovely shoes up under these layers. See her, see her ankles dirty too. Yep, she's got to have a bag. Turn her to the side and turn her on around. Um, I apologize. Let's go this way. We brought the stand where we can just look at the eye sequels coming down. Wow. Okay. Mmm, she's very lovely but she's also set her down i bet she's not set down in years <laughs> okay this for a second i'm 
okay. She does have one. Now, her arms are slightly bent. Let's overlook how dirty she is, like I said. Okay, let's see if her legs bend. We are an adult doll channel, so we're going to stand her back up. Let's see if that waist bends. No, the waist does not bend. Her legs slightly go like this. They do spread a little bit. And she really doesn't do any clicking or bending. You know, I really like those shoes. But again, here's the first layer. Excuse me. Here's the first layer. Here, here's the second. Here's the third. There's the fourth. Here's the bodice. On the back with those beautiful ringlets. All in her hair. She's full of ringlets. Wow. Okay. My goodness. Wow, what a haul we done, you all. <laughs> but I've been kind of saving up, like I said. So once again, our vintage Raggedy Ann and Andy babies. You know what I don't un Can I tell you all something? I don't understand why that people... Not everyone, but some people... I don't understand why people are afraid or scared of the Raggedy Andy and Raggedy Ann dolls. Can someone tell me in the comments, for real, maybe not these, but like, um, like that one, or my big giant one right here, and back here is a couple of homemade ones. Could you tell me, does... <laughs> I don't I'm I'm I don't live in a cave. I do know that there was that movie called Annabelle and that there was supposed to be a true story about a girl that had a doll and all that. I know that. Uh but um thank goodness they didn't use Raggedy Ann in the movie. I'm glad that they used that robotic looking thing or whatever, but I don't know. I just don't get it because I grew up as a little child with, oh, I loved my Raggedy Ann and Andy. Oh, goodness. I mean, she is always so lovable and sweet, and I never, ever had a bad feeling from any of those dolls. And I think how you treat your dolls is how they're going to treat you. <laughs> if that makes sense, we'll just say that. Anyway, so you all, this was my variety haul for today. Um, like I said, I'll uh, I'll be posting another video. Um, I, what I was gonna do, um, I do love my Thai beanie babies, and I have some more porcelain dolls, and I wanted to show those to you all. And you know, I I'm gonna try to make it in a couple of days. So. Um, if I can, but I just didn't want you all to get tired of me and be annoying posting all the time, so, <laughs> but anyway, okay, I'm gonna go, super long video, I do apologize, but we had a lot that I wanted to share with you all, so, um, you all know, I thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, and I hope everyone has a beautiful day.